Hello everyone, Shinto being here discussing some more Warhammer combat cards, and in this video I'll be talking about the controversial changes to the in-game economy that rolled out earlier this week. Uh, there was a, a, a blog post from the developers that uh, detailed all of this, and the reaction has not been good. Uh, if you look in the in-game forums, uh, there was quite a bit of uh, feedback, a lot of contents on the post itself. You can see here, it's the second from the top. There's 72 replies, which is a lot more than uh, their updates on here usually get. And then if you look at the discussions uh, tab, uh, the majority of discussions in here are about uh, these changes. And the changes are to the ad packs, uh, the free pack and kill pack that you get, basically the, the daily rewards that you can get in the game. Uh, long story short, you can't get as many coins any, anymore, but you can get uh, more cards if you're willing to watch ads more often. So uh, let's go ahead and just talk about what actually changed. Uh, number one, they got rid of the free pack. So in here, there's only an option to watch an ad. So if you uh, previously logged into the game just to claim those free cards as the login reward, uh, that is no longer there. And uh, you're probably not going to like that change. Uh, the other change is that the coin ad in the shop, there used to be a coin ad down here where you could get uh, 100 coins for watching a single ad. So that was actually a really good way to um, increase the amount of coins you can get each day with that guaranteed 100 coins, uh, but they removed that. And instead, uh, the, the ad here uh, in the daily reward section uh, the cooldown was reduced to four hours, so instead of like eight hours, I think it was before, yeah, you can watch an ad every, once every four hours to get a pack of coins, plasma, and cards. We'll go ahead and just watch this ad. Um, as for myself, I, uh, I, at first, I actually was watching ads more than I thought I would. And by watching ads, I mean clicking on it and then just doing something else while the ad played itself through. And they tend to be about 30 seconds. Uh, most of these ads are completely irrelevant, so I don't want to bother to to actually watch them. Um, but uh, as time went on, I just uh, found that I did not really want to even be bothered to to click on the ads. Uh, okay, this is taking a while. All right, we can finally close out of the ad here. All right, so the rewards for this ad pack. Uh, remain the same, I believe. So you do get some coins and some plasma. Uh, so this, uh, in addition, wow, got a legendary. Okay. Hey, that's actually a pretty good one. Pre some pre pretty decent cards from that uh, pack. But you can see there, the cooldown is four hours. So you can do that every four hours uh, if you are willing to watch the ads. And then the kill pack. The, the thing is, they actually increased the, the rewards you get from the kill pack. It's mainly just the cards. I don't know if they actually increased the number of coins and plasma you get from it. And no, it looks like the coins and plasma are the same. Uh, but they did add uh, more cards. There's six pages, at least I, I think they did. I don't think the kill pack was quite this big before. So yeah, you can get quite a few cards, but you do have to, of course, play those games in order to unlock uh, the kill pack. And the cooldown for the kill pack, I think, has re remained the same as well. So uh, yeah, it's eight hours. So yeah, all in all, you will be getting less gold. And that is, I think, the biggest beef that players have, because gold is, or coins, rather, uh, coins are absolutely essential. Uh, currency of this game uh, that you need to upgrade your cards and getting less coins is not uh, is not good. Um, I came to the conclusion long ago that I would never have enough coins in this game. It's just that's just the way it is. I just resigned myself to that fact and um, so yeah it, it doesn't this change doesn't bother me quite as much as uh, I think it does a lot of people. I mean, I have like over 250 cards, I think, at this point in my collection that need to be upgraded. And there's just no way, even with the, the coin ads, there's no way I can even come close to upgrading all the cards that I want. Um, 
but I think with all the negative feedback, the, the developers are listening, and uh, although uh, this change is the way it's going to be for the next uh, little while, I think, uh, they will probably, or well, hopefully, take some of that feedback into account and um, find new ways to increase the number of coins that you can get. Um, I saw a preview. I think next week there is actually going to be a chain of events with more rewards, some new cards, and hopefully coins. Uh, so that's at least something to look forward to. But for now, yeah, I think this uh, this change is not really a great uh, direction to be going in. And yeah, I'd like to hear what you think. Uh, if you well, let me know first of all if you actually watch the ads. Uh, if you didn't watch them at all, then this change won't affect you that much. Uh, but again, having that uh, the free pack was kind of nice because you don't always have time to get in the games, you know, at all times of the day, right? So uh, for now, like you, you cannot get any rewards just by logging in. You do have to play two to three matches to get that kill pack. So. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the, the removal of the coin pack and also the removal of the, the free pack. Uh, also on the Discord, I was reading a lot of the discussions on there and again, lots of negative feedback. And also people had different ideas for you know ways that they could change the economy while still you know providing the same number or, or more coins uh, for players to get each day. But that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.